continuing our coverage, around 7.5 million people in the U.S. are stalking victims every year. That number could actually be larger as stalking incidents tend to go unreported. Fox 13's Nikki Torres is live in our newsroom. And Nikki, when it comes to protecting ourselves, safety experts say that we need to really listen to our own intuition means if you feel that something is not right, ask for help. Ignoring it and hoping that it fades away will not work in stalking situations. Confronting a stalker early could potentially save your life. What's happening with that other person's behavior that's making you feel this way? Why is it inappropriate? Most of the time, we have fear when somebody has violated a social norm. These are the questions Cheryl Michaels wants you to ask yourself if you think you're dealing with a stalker. She's the director of safety and security at Seattle Pacific University. Michaels says if you find yourself trying to talk yourself out of believing in your gut feeling, consider that a red flag on its own. The trauma, the fear of what could happen really is a strong motivator to how we respond to it. And often it's to try to ignore it and make it go away. Ignore our feelings, our intuition that is telling us something's wrong here and we need to act. That act should be reaching out to friends and family or if it escalates, calling law enforcement. Stalking by definition is repeated unwanted attempts at communication, contact, or even harassment. And the worst thing we can do is ignore our gut feeling that says don't answer that call. And after 30 attempts, we're like, okay, if I, if I just answer this phone call after 30 times, then maybe they'll stop. And all that's done is taught the person who's obsessed that all they have to do is be persistent for 30 times. And then eventually they'll get to make that connection. Michael says once you make a decision not to engage, you need to stick with it. Consistency is crucial with people who display obsessive behavior. If they continue to pursue contact, keep a record of what they're saying because that often is what makes the contact a crime. With stalking and the, the law that's written for stalking, it has to be something that has more criminal intent involved like threats to damage your property, threats to harm you or a friend. Um, it can't just be the mere phone call or text message because then we just have harassment. According to the National Intimate Partner and Sexual Violence Survey, one in every three women and one in every six men have been stalked at some point in their lives. Here in King County, we do not have the information for 2022 yet, but the latest data available shows that there were 20 civil protection orders issued for stalking in 2021. That is up from just 10 issued in 2020. Live in the newsroom, I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.